everybody thanks for watching just a quick reminder i put up the 24 hour sale a lot of people didn't see it or didn't get the email in time so i'm going to put it up for another 24 hours it's the last six videos make sure you guys take advantage of this sale the last six videos uh 24.99 take advantage of the sale it's going to be up for 24 hours i might leave it up through the weekend but make sure you guys take advantage. Also, never pay a game membership. As I said, it's ending. I sent out emails to everybody. If you registered on Merkaba Academy, you got an email, except if you're already a never pay again member, check your email, check your spam, take advantage of that offer. Um, I sent it out. So I will extend that as well through the weekend. Uh, a lot of people sent emails about it, but um, I'll make sure you guys uh, have access to it uh, throughout the weekend. The Merkaba Academy app will be up by Friday. It's by Friday for sure. Should be sooner than Friday. So we got less than a week. Uh, it should be out. Um, most likely Tuesday or Wednesday, but I'll give it to Friday. You know, it looks like it's going to be in the uh, Apple App Store as well, as well as in the Android Store. Updated, you know, everything. So that's coming. Again, make sure you guys take advantage of these sales. And um, yeah, also make sure if you try to contact me, contact me at my gmail the real merkaba at gmail.com do not contact me in instagram or what have you if it has to do with your membership or whatnot not a good place to do it make sure you email me because somebody will see it you know i'm not i'm not always gonna see it on instagram so make sure you guys if it has to do with membership or anything like that make sure you guys email me before um you send me anything on instagram best way easiest way so let's get into this video so now what did i tell you Exactly like I said, what will happen. And just a quick update. I already uploaded the video I was going to put out on my other uh, channel, my other YouTube channel. It was taken down by YouTube. So um, this is a whole new video I had to do really quick because the information that was in that video I want to talk about in this one, but I see I'm not going to be able to talk about it. So I'll just talk about it in the upcoming DVD. So like I said in the last video, the previous videos, it would happen um, with Russia. And um, I'm going to be careful how I say stuff or what I say, because I don't want this one to get taken down either. It's a lot of work doing these videos. But um, yeah, I mean, I just don't understand how people can't. It's WWE shit, you know, to any conscious person. You can clearly see the setup. And because this is going to be so big, the aftermath, everything that's coming, like this has been going on for years. It's not just something that happened now. A lot of people like, you know, oh, what happened just out of the blue? We have been dealing with this whole Ukraine situation since like 2014 and really before that. So you remember, you know, we had the issue with George that talked about in the video, the Ukraine. Uh, Russia is always um, getting in any country that we have some type of ties to. But it's smoke and mirrors. So Y'all can believe it if you want. Smoke and mirrors. Understand what this is about. This is about economics. Plain and simple. This is going to cripple economies. Which is go what, what's going to happen? These sanctions is going to be a problem, but it's going to be a flip side to it. So if you really pay attention to this, what was happening, you know, before the Corona thing jumped off, and you know, before it really got crazy, we knew about it already. We thought it was already shutting stuff down, but we had the whole issue with uh, us in China as far as shipping, you know, as far as trade, trade problems. So that sparked a little something with us in China. We supposedly settled it when Trump was in office, but it's still ongoing. So understand how the timing is going to play out with that timing we had with this agreement with China is going to end soon. Looks like it's going to end very soon. So China is already coming out saying, you know, these sanctions against Russia. Ah. So the problems it's going to, you know, pose for Russia, they're basically going to take care of. So Biden and Camilla is jumping all over the news and everything is these sanctions. And if Russia do this, sanctions, 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 right? Understand. So China comes along and cut the legs from under them. Now what? So if the sanctions that you're going to oppose is going to supposedly do some type of damage or whatnot to Russia, it's going to be cut off basically by China saying, you know what, we got you, don't worry about it. What's going to happen with China's situation? What's going to happen? So are we going to have to put you know, sanctions on China. We can't really do that, can we? Because China supplies everybody with everything. You understand what's going to happen? You understand the ramifications down. The world cannot afford for China to go to war. The world can't afford for really anybody to go to war right now, recovering from an economic crisis with Corona. 
and just pay attention how to everything that's happening. UK just released all the, the laws, just out of the blue. Okay, everything that has to do with Corona, done, over with. You know, let's go back to normal. Why now? Again, situation with Russia. Why now? Could have done this back in 2018. So back in April 2018, it was already sanctions. You know, they shut down a couple companies, uh, screwed up, screwed up a couple of plans of some oligarchies over there, um, messed with um, the financial system and banks. And it's almost some of the same stuff now because now everything they have to do with digital currency is going to be affected with Russia, which is going to have a trickle down effect. Stocks already dropped. And what's next? What's coming? They've been baking this together, putting together, you know, piece by piece, giving it time. Uh, Biden already said that, um, you know, hey, it's going to take it's going to take time for the impact to be felt by Russia with the sanctions that we're opposing. And I showed you guys in the previous DVD about the connection China has with Russia, and it's a huge economic connection. And if you're going to mess with Russia's bank, the banking system, then it's going to possibly have effects with China in some way. And it's going to have a trickle down effect. So we're talking about like us imposing some sanctions that's going to mess with a global economic situation. You understand? Then out of the blue, they're warning Russia about not attacking us. You know, no cyber attacks. Oh, we're watching out for your cyber attacks as if it's a warning to us. This is how to let you know what's coming. Like, come on. Like by now, you got to be able to see how this stuff works. It's been set up for a long time. You can see it coming from a mile away. I ain't Nostradamus. I ain't predict anything. It's just stuff you can clearly see if you're paying attention and you know how this stuff works. So as I said, I talked about this stuff last year. I said it was going to happen last year. And it's coming. And it's just the beginning. So it's like reaction now. You know? Problem, reaction, solution. Reaction now. Drop bombs. What's going to happen? And they're already saying, well, we're going to do more depending on, you know, what Russia does next. Okay. They already dropped bombs. They already, they already put up the finger. They already basically said, Hey, anybody come fuck with us is on. Now what? This is modern times. Nobody wants to go to war. We want to go back to the nineties. Nobody want to go back and deal with Afghanistan, Iraq stuff. There is no war in Russia. It's just something you can't do. The people are, you know, too chill. There are, you know, it, look, if you watch USC, you see how many Russian fighters we have. If you see how many, you know, celebrities, rich people go over there, is they are more, you know, chill than ever before and they like their lives. I posted a video on my Instagram about them marching in the streets in Russia and Moscow saying, you know, no to war. The people don't want war. And that's one of the things that Russia is notoriously known for. You can't beat them. It's tough because the people will fight. It's basically what's happening in the Ukraine. They're arming the people. They're saying, you know what? If Russia invades, the people will fight. So it's not just the military versus the military. When you go to deal with any of these countries, you got to fight the people, which is how it's really supposed to be, you know, because if your military lose, you lose. So in, in, in any case, anybody comes into your country, you got to attack. Me personally, I don't think they want that. I don't think they want war. I don't think the people will put up with war. So this has to be done differently. And um, it's a lot of ways, a lot of ways you can do, you know, uh, war like this and, you know, cyber attacks and sanctions and stuff that's going to hurt the economy. That's going to really hurt everybody. But still, at the same time, get people to rally towards a solution and like, you know, what is this really about? And again, it's about timing and why. Why now? I mean, Russia could have done this back in 2018. This problem was the same problem a week ago. Why now? You know, talked about before, you know, when there's lunar activity, when there's solar activity, you know, when there's planetary activity, this is what happens. It's always war. I put this all in and put this in my videos and DVDs. I told you guys. And we have so much this year happening as far as planetary alignments and lunar activity or what have you. That's going to, you know, cause a lot. So it's something that to look out for. And I'll get in this a lot more and up some other stuff in the, in the video. I don't want to get into too much of this uh, talk and have this video take it down again. So, you know, you got to look at this. And I know people are saying, you know, end time prophecy and I had to deal with shit all week. Like, 
it's no prophecy. And it's like, by now you got to just start using common sense and just asking yourself, you don't think these people read the Bible? You don't think these people know what it says? You don't think they know that the stuff you know? <laughs> you don't think they know it already that this stuff, hmm, somehow mimics prophecy and we're just fulfilling it. It makes more sense that it's people fulfilling the agenda that they wrote, you know, a plan that they had set in place. And y'all just in awe about it when, dude, like, just use your brain. It's already written. You, know, you understand? It's already written. You think because it was written so long ago that, oh, it's no way they could have known. How could they have known so long ago to write this? Because they wrote it. It's the same people. It's the same agenda. It's not what you think. And, you know, somebody writes in. I always say this. I write something today and I do what I wrote 15 years from now. It's not a prophecy. It's me doing what I wrote 15 years ago.